Alright, yo, what is up, you guys? This is Romeo from the Blur Games, back with another video. And today, as you can see, we are continuing our Xenoblade Chronicles 2 series. Sorry I haven't uploaded this video sooner. Um, like, there were some errors that I did, but... It took me a long time to get this content out, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But, um, so we're gonna be picking off where we left off. We're still here at the Argentum Trade Guild. So, I think right now... Wait, well, what did I just do? I didn't want to do that. Right now, we are supposed to go back to see that bank lady to, like, drop off some money and prepare for our mission that we're supposed to go on. Come on. Are we, are we supposed Yeah, we're supposed to go here to Shanini's accessories. Ah, friend Rex, good to be seeing. Hey, Shanini, you still got that thing we talked about before? Ah, Rex finally saved enough money to purchase? You got it. Can I have a look? Alright, I want to buy... Let me buy this abyss vest. How many do you want to buy? I can only buy one, so I'm gonna go with one. Why well, Rex doesn't have much money. Salvage some amazing treasure. I've taken on a big job direct from the chairman. I got 100,000 gold just from the advance payment. Wow, that's quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted waters, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. This un this accessory sure to protect Rex. Shinini guarantee. Good luck on job. Right now, that's sorted. I've still got a fair amount of cash left. Time to send some back home to the folks at Fonset. I had best go see Malolo at the Central Exchange again. <clears throat> Alright, so now we have to go see her again. You finally got that Abyss Vest you always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Right now the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Sweet. Alright. Um, just remember you'll need to equip accessories to benefit from their effects go to main menu characters character setup accessories to do so all right so what do we do we got me um where should i forgot item list um what should i do did i already get it um how do i do that like how do i get to that object thing not options. Well, I'll do it later if I do not already ha <coughs> have it. <coughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so let's head over to over here. Let's go to this bank lady person. Rex, back again. Did friend forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex, find money on floor? No pawn round. You're very particular about money, so should turn in every even small change. No, I didn't pick up any small change, actually. I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum, like 2,000 gold? I'd rather not bendy the number about too much, but more like 100,000. 100,000? Not so loud. Oh, yes, sorry much. But where Rex get all that gold? Actually, no. No need to tell Malolo. Malolo will not want to get mixed up in shady business. Okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Any who's any hoodles, Rex, Malolo not able to accept such large sum here anyway. Should take directly to courier. All monies Malolo accept here always delivered through courier called Max. Oh, okay, Max, I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Well, this certainly make things quicker. Fr friend know where to find Max? Yeah, he'll be just through the Argentum Bazaar, right? Thanks, Malolo. Malolo. Blah, I cannot say that name. All right, so Max, my boy, where are you? Oh, I see you over down here. Let me just jump around over here. Let me talk to you, my boy. Hey, Max, I'd like to transfer some money. Well, if it isn't Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so Malolo said I should just bring it straight to you. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. Haha, <laughs> it's not that big a deal. So how much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pocket, so after leaving a bit for myself, let's say... I'll, I'll just send 90,000. Can you deliver 90,000 gold to Cora and Afonso Village, please? Ooh, that's quite the healthy sum. Did you haul up some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Okay, we understand, guy. Alright, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Auntie Corin, shark. Oh, yeah, she gave me a shark thing. Dish, whatever. You can count on me. Brave Cloud Sea Shark. Okay. Hello there, friend Rex. Ruri, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging at your service. No need for introductions with me, Ruri. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. 
Well, that perfect timing, Rory just get in brand new cylinder type of having time friend wants to test out. Really, you'd let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve of quality, easier for Rory to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'll, I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see Rory on rear deck shortly. Then, Rory will make preparation. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so now we gotta go see him or her. I don't want to assume genders, so I'm not gonna say it's a he or she. This is brand new cylinder. Please test out at nearby salvage point and tell Rory impressions from using. All right, then leave it to me. Nice. So let me go here, salvage deck. Blah, 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 I know how to salvage. All right, come on, check. Nice, all right, let me use this silver cylinder, I think that's what Time it's called. Time for some treasure hunting. Oh, wow, I, I, that was bad. Whoa. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> oh, man, did I come up with a load of guff again? Oh, I didn't get well, that bad stuff, I guess. I just got a whole bunch of weird screws. Okay, bring it on. Hey, I'm a Oh, I'm fighting a thing. I guess I salvaged that too? I don't know. Come on. Nice. All right, let me get my HPs. All right, I got 11 experience. Thank you for my HPs. Let me get this treasure trove thing. <clears throat> All right, I got that. Um, let me talk to Rory again. Look like friend all finished. How was new cylinder? It was all right. It was, I, didn't, I just didn't do that good. All right, that's such a vague answer. But it's true that not easy to get used to new cylinder after only one use. At any rate, thanks much for help. Also here, give friend present of three normal cylinder. Can use in some place as before. Meh, happy salvaging. Normal cylinder times three, okay. If friend ever run out of cylinders, please drop by shop at any time we make deal. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? Hmm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I've got that braised cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll go visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor, then I should be all set. Okay, so I'm gonna go over there now. Um, Fishy Fishy is upstairs on the third floor, he said? Yeah, so... Can I jump through? No, I can't jump through there. So let me just run up here. It's not the third floor yet. I'm almost there. Ba Bower Lounge. Bower Lounge. I don't know how to say that. Um, are you up here? Yeah, fishy fishy, right here. Welcome, friend. Now then, what should I buy? Let me buy some stuff. Grilled anchor tail. We'll buy two of those. Oyster stir fry, I'll buy one of those and a marine stir fry. Um, hmm. I'll buy one marine stir fry. All right, so we're good. Um, do we got anything to sell? Um, fancy bolts. Um, I just got a whole bunch of weird stuff, but I'm not gonna sell anything until I know what I'm doing, what I can do with them. If there is anything I can do with them. Because I remember when I was playing Breath of the Wild, I sold all my ancient gears and whatnot. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright. You bought supplies and stocked up on food, so you're all ready to salvage. Okay. Right, I've got the accessory I wanted, and I'm all sorted for food. I think that should just about do it. There's still time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the inn. I could head back to Gramps to rest, but he might try to give me another lecture. So yeah, the inn seems best. I have plenty of cash left, and it can't hurt to rest in a nice comfy bed once in a while. The inn should be just past Rumbleton Canteen. Let's get moving. And I believe that inn is over this way. Oof, come on. <sighs> yeah, Lemur Inn. Let me quickly explain about, explain about lodgings. When you take a short rest in a lodging facility like an inn, you can use any bonus experience you've earned to boost your level. <coughs> Bonus experience is the experience that you earn when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns on occasion so you can use it. 
If you come up against a foe that you that you just can't beat, do a few quests to build up your bonus ex EXP, then go up onto a lodging facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, you're free to never level up at the lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. <coughs> anyway, you got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. You better get some shut eye. Yes, please. Lemur in. Come on, Nate. I'd like to rest up a bit. Thank you very much. Custom rooms, free, blah, blah, blah. Um, short rest for 100 gold. I can level up, okay? Um. Okay, I'll just go to level 3. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. You better be feeling stronger than before. Let's go. Alright. Um. Finish leveling up. Yes, I'm done leveling up. Although I can't level up that much. I'm still leveling up. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> this is real. This really is so different from sleeping in that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I even feel like I've gotten a bit stronger. Because you have. Anyway, better head up to the meeting point. Out, it was at Golden Off Fixit Dock, down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's not, there's still time to look around at Golden Mouth a bit longer if I wanted to, but I shouldn't dawdle too long. Okay. So a number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across Allrest. Argentum Trade Guild is known as the hub of Allrest Commerce, so naturally you'll find a plethora of different shops there. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out on your adventures. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Okay, nice. I got a new, um... Yeah. I almost forgot. I'll tell you something important. Rex's pouch. Favorite items. Pouch. Blah, blah, blah. Hold. Not that. Can't hold that much stuff. Alright. So. Salvager shops are now open. Accessory shops are now open. Um. I don't want to really waste too much time here. So I'm going to head down. Here. Just need these accessories. Let me jump down here. Um, let me head up this way. I think I'm going the right way. A yeet! I'm not going. Oh, wait, I just found a treasure trove. You're all mine. <clears throat> break barrel failed. Come on, let me break You're you again. You're all mine. Dang it! Ugh! I need Man, that sucks. That stinks, you guys. Um, how should I go about doing this? Is it down this way? Yeah, it's down this way. So I need to head down here. Goldmouth exit dock. Alright. Cutscene time, I'm guessing. Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. What are you, 12? Wait, maybe you are 12. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Da -da 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 -da. Dun, dun, dun. We're heading out. Dun, dun, dun. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. <laughs> Before you head off on your big job, I'd like to explain a little something about selling items and all rest. You may have already made of use of them, but there are businesses called item trading shops that specialize in taking treasure off your hands. If you sell off items as a whole set, you'll earn a bunch more money than if you sold them off individually. So when you find precious treasures, don't sell out, don't just don't sell them off at cheaper at cheap regular shops. See if you can put together sets for trading shops and make a titty profit. All right. Never thought I'd see the day you'd be riding the Maelstrom Rex. Suppose it just goes to show how far you become as a shop of. <laughs> Suppose it just goes to show how far you come as a salvager, eh? Well, I'm proud of you, lad. Now, are you all set? We're setting sail soon, as you're ready to board. Um. 
Do I? Yeah, I'll just board now. That's what I like to hear. Come on, then. Hop on. We're heading into uncharted territory for this job. You know, I'm getting goose pimples just thinking about it. All right. C-S-E-V Maelstrom. I don't know what that really stands for, but, um... We should be reaching the Uncharted Zone tomorrow. <coughs> tomorrow, but there's plenty of time left until then. I guess I could go and talk with the clients for a bit. I still don't know as much about them as I'd like to. Besides, it's not every day you get to talk to real drivers. Oh, and once I'm done with them, I'd better go see Manel. I meant, I meant to be on lookout duty tonight. He won't be very pleased if I never show up. Dang, this dude talks so much to himself. Like, I know I'm supposed to, like, know this, but, like... Come on, dude. You're, you're kind of weird. You talk to Nia. <clears throat> you seem awfully quiet. Did you get seasick or something? Of course I'm not seasick. I'm just not used to shift with, all, with this many salvagers on, that's all. Well, if it's wearing you out now, you'll be a wreck by the time we reach our destination. I can handle myself, all right? Let me talk to Dromark. Master Rex, are you prepared to begin salvaging? Let us all work well together to make this mission a success. Wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, is there anyone else here? Let's talk to this dude. Look at this guy. I don't, I don't really, I don't need to talk to him, I don't think. Um, let's see who we got up here. Let me talk to my boy Jin. I don't, I don't like this dude, he just looks kind of weird. Hi there. What you want? You from left area, are you? Sure am, I was raised in Fonset Village. The village is right by the cloud sea, so I grew up sw swimming in the clouds. That's why salvaging work comes naturally to me. I'm pretty confident in my skills, despite how I may look. Very good. Okay. Nice talking to you, dude. Nice. Alright, let's head up here. I'm derived. Maelstrom deck. Let's see. Let's talk to these guys. My boy Sever. Heh <laughs> heh. Evading Malice's attack when you're not even a driver? That's impressive, boy. I look forward to seeing how you handle the work ahead. Isn't that a compliment? Uh, for thanks, I think. Alright, let's talk to my boy Malos. <coughs> what do you want, kid? I'm called Rex, actually. Pleasure to be working with you. So I'm guessing you're not going to fill me in on what exactly it is we're looking out for here? That's the idea. Need to know basis. Why, why are you curious? Well, sure, sure I am, but I'll do the work I'm paid for, whether you tell me or not. That's what I like to hear, kid. I just hope your skills are more advanced than your age. <clears throat> My name's still Rex, not Kid. Alright, so we talked to my, my people. So let's talk to this Razzly Dazzly guy. Rex, do you not go see Manel and take over lookout duty yet? Manel is on platform just above here. Step's a bit rickety, so careful you not fall off. Okay. <laughs> I will be careful that uh, I don't fall uh, off. Uh, 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 Sounds like he's trying to throw up. It's, it's kind of gross. <laughs> uh, 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 Alright. So you finally arrived, have you? Well, are you here to keep watch or aren't you? Shall I start on guard duty? Start the shift? Yes, I'm start the shift. Ah, at last. I can get a breather. I think I've earned myself a drink or two. It's not looking too good out there. I'd steer yourself for the worst. If something's up, give me a shout. Don't worry. I won't be drinking myself into a stupor or anything. Alright, so time for some lookout duty, you guys. I see, like, some tree thing over there. Hmm. And a ship. That's the black ship from the harbor. Is it following us? Oof. It's way too cold up here. You. I'll have you know I've got a name. It's Nia. They've started boozing below decks. You should join them. Why aren't you there? It's not that I hate it. I just really don't need a headache right now. Huh. Good thing you're not a salvager then. Why's that? Swim like a fish and drink like one too. 
That's the salvager's code. Pfft, sounds terrible. I don't think I'll be changing careers. Hmm, probably for the best. Anyway, I bet you drivers earn a hell of a lot more than salvagers do. So, kid? My name's Rex. <laughs> okay, Rex. Why did you start salvaging in the first place? That there. The world tree. I don't get it. You know, you find all sorts of things digging through salvage. Some of it trash. Some of it treasure. But all of it from people long gone. Have you noticed, though, there's fewer titans each day? I saw one go under just the other day. It was a pretty big one. There must have been loads of animals still living on it. Living space is running out. Day by day. And sooner or later, we'll be the ones sinking down into the cloud sea. But up there, Elysium is waiting for us. <laughs> Seriously, kid, Elysium, don't tell me you believe that gaff. So that's, uh, why you're a salvager. It's just a lie for children. And that there is just an overgrown shrub. If there's a way to get up there, maybe it's hidden below the clouds. Is it really that crazy? Seriously, though? There'd be no need to fight over dwindling land and resources. No need to worry about our homes sinking away. Everyone could have peace and security. I mean, a dream like that, isn't that worth believing in? Nobody can tell you what to believe, but... <clears throat> Everyone, huh? What? I always thought people were pretty selfish by nature, but you... Huh. Do you have parents? No. When I asked Gramps, he told me they died when I was just a kid. Gramps? Oh, the same one who taught you to use arts. Yeah. He basically raised me himself. He's not like us, though. Not like... I'm not sure I catch a drift. But this Gramps of yours sounds all right. Oh. Huh. And you're all right too, kid. Not that different from me. Okay. So I guess we're like very similar or something? What is that, like a weird turtle thing? Shout out to all my turtles out there, you know. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, leave a like on this video. We're in position. All personnel, report to station. Jesus, what a rude, Selfish like, team, awakening. Shoot up and proceed to hatch. What the heck? Um, where am I going? Um, better scurry along to the meeting. Is the meeting- No, the meeting's down there. Wow. Oof. Alright, I just jumped down the stairs. Your target is located inside a shipwreck 450 pairs straight down. Searching the wreck while submerged is too high risk for our tests, so... We'll be using flotation devices and cranes to lift the hull first. Next, you'll split into teams and explore the interior. Once the target is found, Retrieval can commence. If that's clear, let's begin with attaching the floats. Get into position. We're paying your low lives a lot, so don't screw it up. Hey, I'm not no low life. What the heck, bro? So -so. Hey, aren't you a salvager? You should come with us. We got that gear on, you know. You know where I'm coming from, bro? You know? Those long leg garden holes. You get me? I'm just gonna come back in. Feeling that you're shivering, yeah? Fire, fire, fire. Boom, yo. About the four door with the four four equals one, two, three, and four. Chilling in the corridor. Your dad is 44. Yeah, boom. Big shack. That was horrible, but yeah. <laughs> Remember me? That that's basically what just happened. Is that it? So it's basically like a scuba suit, and that's it. It looks pretty ancient. Is that the... 
propulsion mechanism? I've never seen one that shape before. Which country made this? It's the Titanic. Oh, that's massive. The appearance matches our reports, but it's what's inside that matters. Object is secure. Proceed to second phase. Excellent work. You're not half bad, you know that. I do this for a living, remember? All teams. Proceed inside when ready. Right then. Let's get moving. You with us. Me? Huh? You gonna drag the kids along? Seriously? Guess he thinks you need all the help you can get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There, you've got your orders, haven't you? So I'm being like bossed around now by a cat lady. Okay. Ancient ship. Party formation has changed. Confirm. All right. I'm the only one. Well, actually, Jin doesn't have a blade either. So you cannot. Subs oh yeah. So let me return. You just acquired new comrades to accompany you on your adventure. You can adjust the setup of your party and main menu, characters, change order. No matter how many friends you make, you will never be able to take more than three party members into battle at once. So choose carefully. Uh, the character set to number one in change order will be the character that you control. No two characters fight in exactly the same way, so you should experiment with, experiment with a few and find who fits your playstyle the best. Okay, so we have like can't, we have finally gotten here to the ancient ship deck. This is where we're gonna end the video, you guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button before you leave. Cl also click that like button and turn on the notifications so you know so you know every time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out and thank you for watching.